figures of people being searched and having nice find of them. You're looking at teenagers, you know, as young as 12, 13, so the late teenagers, early 20s. <laughs> Across Britain, knife crime is and has been a serious issue since 2001, however in the last 12 months it has drastically increased. In 2017, knife crime rose by 22% in England and Wales. There were more than 39,598 offences involving a knife or sharp instrument, up from 32,448 in 2016. In this documentary, we will be looking at the facts and information on knife crime and gang culture in the southeast of England and will be completing interviews with people who know about this issue. Stabbing in an incident involving two groups of teens. Just over by the Milo Donkey, a group of teens were chased by men with machetes. Owen Saunders is about to talk to British Transport Police Officer Robert Mullaney about his take on knife crime. Since you've been on the force, have you noticed that there's been an increase in knife crime? Or absolutely, yes, absolutely. And I think you just have to look at any newspaper now, any day of the week, you you will find uh, very sad stories of youngsters being knifed. And certainly since when I first joined, there's been a massive increase. Yes. I'm very concerned about knife crime. I think it's becoming more and more frequent in youth and the new generation because it's easier to get hold of knives, I think. And it's quite cool to carry around a knife if you're in a gang or something. I'm not really that concerned because the media portray it to be a bigger issue than it is. I'm pretty concerned about knife crime because uh, in my area, like, there's been, uh, like, uh, it's known for stabbing and stuff. This is High Wycombe, a considerably rough area in Buckinghamshire. On Hunt Road earlier this year, two boys aged 15 were stopped by two men on a moped. The thugs told the boys to hand over their belongings and threatened them with a knife. Thames Valley Police confirmed they were called to a property in Walton Drive at around quarter past 7pm to report that a man had been stabbed. Now, mainly young people, I suppose if I think back over the years, it is the younger person, the youngsters going into town on a on any night, I suppose, um, and normally for, for caring for their, their own defence. There's been a change with that now. Um, more people are caring not for defence, but for offence uh, to commit crimes. Um, in London, I'm not saying everyone, but a lot of them is going to be drug related. Uh, gang warfare, it's become a bit of a status symbol if somebody's carrying a knife. Uh, they use it for their own power, uh, to threaten people, uh, for, for, whatever, for whatever means. On the 14th of July this year, a similar incident to the one in Wickham occurred here in Marlow, where a man was forced onto a moped by two thugs with a knife. They brought him here to the Esso station to force him to get money out of the cash machine. However, he was overdrawn and could not get any money out, but they did steal his phone. Uh, we had a report of some had seen somebody with a knife and the description was passed. Uh, went along with a colleague, saw a person matching that description, searched him and he had a carving knife down the back of his waist belt at the base of his back. Um, he was arrested um, and I, I recall that it was for self-defence. I don't think there's much solution to knife crime but I'm, I think people will keep doing what they're doing by spreading awareness not to carry knives or like you know be in gangs and stuff there's an, there's there's a lot of people going out there and spreading awareness but i don't know if that will change how gangs feel or if it will stop them so if you ban them from places then you can just get another one but in schools you could um, do metal searches which i know a few schools have now to stop knife crime probably just educating younger people to not to carry a knife with them, it, like it's not worth, not worth it. There is the proactive um, thought of deterring people from doing it, 
and that would be going to schools, talking to youngsters, not only police but previous gang members, people that carried knives were going to the schools and say to the youngsters, look, this is what I did and this is what happened to me, mm -hmm. to try and deter them from doing that. Yeah. Um, and also, we also proactively uh, go out and about into boroughs with the Metropolitan Police and the Metropolitan Police will do itself, Tanzania Police, Police, Tanzania Police will do it around here as well, where we will actively look on intelligence-led information targeting people, gangs and groups, and proactively going and hunting them down, searching them and seeing what it turns up. Yeah.